Well, it is first official action in a cause aimed at bringing the death penalty back here to Nebraska. The legislature repealed it last week. Documents were filed today with the Nebraska Secretary of State seeking a referendum by Nebraska voters. But doing that is not easy. It requires a complicated formula of signatures from each county. And in the meantime, other things will be happening in the wake of that legislative action. There are several things working in the federal courts. First, what to do with the 10 inmates that are currently on death row. That could very well end up here at the federal courts, where a panel of judges would weigh in on the matter if the repeal stands. Now, earlier today, our Brandon Scott spoke with a constitutional law expert who told him that Nebraska is now in uncharted legal territory with the governor vowing to proceed with those 10 executions. This is despite the legislature's vote to end capital punishment. This amounts to taking the state where I live out of the killing business, which it has been in ever since its inception. I don't know of any issue that could be of that magnitude. State Senator Ernie Chambers has spent decades fighting to repeal the death penalty. But even though he secured enough votes last week to override the governor's veto and abolish executions, the capital punishment battle continues, with the group Nebraskans for the death penalty now seeking to have voters overturn the legislature's repeal. There's been many who, who believe that we should keep the, the death penalty I hear in Nebraska, and I certainly am one of them. Senator Bo McCoy is leading the effort to put the death penalty on the ballot. When we spoke to him last month, he had a single message. The most uh, heinous uh, crimes committed against fellow Nebraskans deserves the, the most, the ultimate punishment. Um, and that's what the death penalty is. In a statement late this afternoon, Nebraskans for the death penalty said a recent survey showed Nebraskans overwhelmingly support the death penalty by a wide margin, with 64% favoring. But in a radio interview last week with a Canadian program, Senator Chambers dismissed the notion of following public opinion. If 99% of the people wanted the death penalty, I would still oppose it. Our job as elected officials, in my view, is to inform ourselves on the issue, analyze it, arrive at a judgment, then cast our vote and take whatever the consequences are. Well, as Brandon Scott reporting again, the consequences of this constant back and forth, it could very well be a legal challenge that would then likely take years to resolve and possibly even land at the front steps of the U.S. Supreme Court. The constitutional law expert that we spoke with told us that even if the ballot measure is successful and Nebraskans vote to maintain the death penalty, all 10 inmates currently on death row would now have a legal footing to appeal their sentences.